Hi lads, this is Long Cadigan here. Uh, today I'm going to take you through the full program, uh, making sure that you have a full understanding of the types of repetitions, the types of quality that we're aiming for you to achieve in your program. Like anything, to build up quality, we need consistency in, in performing the program throughout the week. So make sure that you're taking full heed of all the information that we're giving you this evening and it's going to benefit you in the long run. Hey lads, uh, I'm going to take you through the first part of your movement prep for your power and strength program day one. Uh, the fundamentals of all these exercises that we're making sure we have proper technique, everything is done under control and that we're constantly looking for quality. First exercise is a single leg hip bridge. 3 one, one tempo which I'm going to explain and I'm going to demonstrate 3 on the right and 3 on the left. So making sure our lower back is nice and flat, heels are planted on the ground and we're pushing up slowly back down. Control for one, one, two, three, back down. Make sure the back is nice and flat, core is tight. One, two, three, fully extending up and back down. We're making sure that we're doing six on the right. Six on the left leg. We're going to move on then to our shoulder tap plus animal walk. I'll do this facing on so that you can see. So into like a bear crawl position, knees underneath our hips, arms underneath our shoulder blades, moving nice and controlled, opposite hand, opposite leg, and then shoulder tap, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, making sure we're bracing through our core and from the side angle, back is nice and flat. So we've done this way on. Back is nice and flat. Our third exercise is a lateral lunge. Making sure with our lateral lunge that we're not collapsing out over. Brace through our core. We're up nice and tall to start. As we extend out with the right leg, we're breaking, sitting down, and pushing back up into it. So again, down, sitting down, make sure we're getting good depth, but again, not collapsing forward. And back. And our final exercise, Come to balance squat. So again, 3 one, 1 tempo is what you would see a lot in our program. So I'm going to say it out loud. So 3, 2, 1, 1, and back up. 3, 1, 1, back up. Making sure that we're focusing on quality, feet are shoulder apart, not falling forward, shoulders back, sitting down, pause, and back up. It's the first part of our movement program. So lads, we're moving on to our power prep next. We have three exercises in this block. We have a single leg low hop with a stick, making sure we're doing a right leg and left leg and taking 15 seconds in between. We then continue on to our counter movement jump with a stick. Once we've performed that exercise, we're taking our 15 second rest. And then our final exercise is a tuck jump continuously. After we finish that exercise, we're taking 60 second rest making sure we're focusing on quality in our next round and we're repeating the same thing again. So I'm going to take you through the single leg low hop. There's a hurdle in the demonstration that you have. I want you to focus on maybe a skipping rope, a towel or something that you can jump over that's low. We're focusing on single leg, stick the landing, making sure that there's no wobble here in the knee. Stick the landing, nice and strong, make sure you can see the chill. Stick the landing. That's our single leg hop, three on the right, Three on the left, making sure nice and strong through our core, no shaking here in the knee and ankle. Our next exercise is our counter movement jump with our stick. So again, think of jumping up to get a ball, hands at the hips, big jump, stick the landing. What we don't want to hear is big thud, soft landing, dip, drive, soft landing. Notice again, good quality control in around the knee, hip and chest is up. We don't want to be looking at the floor as if we want to see if we're magic getting a ball. And our final exercise, tuck jump continuously for three repetitions. So here, up, up, up. Rest then for 60 seconds and we'll repeat the full block again. Okay lads, our next part of our strength program, we have two exercises combined together for super seven, which you'll see in some of your programs at different stages in your career. That means we do one exercise, with no rest when we finish, and then move on to the next exercise and take 60 seconds rest as you'll see in your program. The two exercises that are combined together that I'm going to demonstrate is a single leg squat to box and a chin up. So our single leg squat to box, making sure something roughly around knee height, 
Again, making sure feet are roughly shoulder width apart, nice and controlled, up nice and tall. Lift the opposite leg, slowly down, touch, back up, squeeze through the glute, up nice and tall. Down, touch, back up and squeeze. Again, making sure no rattle here on the knee, real, real strong. We're going to do three on the right, four to six reps on the right, and four to six reps on the left. And then we're going to move on into our chin up. With our chin up, we want to make sure that we're tall and long and that we're fully locking our elbows. So we don't want any half reps. So elbows are locked out fully. It's really important that we're engaging and tucking our ribs in real strong. So fully extend down, all the way up, pause, and back down. Pause for one, all the way back up, pause, one, two, three. If you're struggling, to hit the repetitions that are in the program, you can jump up to the top, pause, and then slowly four, three, two, one, and release. Relax the arms, jump back up, all the way down, slowly, 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 until you get better and you can build up the amount of full pull ups. Those two exercises are combined together. Nope. Next two exercises, lads, that are combined together is our split squat and our push up. Making sure that we're focused on tempo. You'll see here 3 1 1, and I'll explain that as well in a second. So, with our split squat, rather than starting up here in the top position and falling down into it, start in the bottom. Make sure our shin is nice and straight, knee to hip is nice and straight, and our knee here to our hip, to our shoulder, to our ear is nice and straight. If you're struggling this small with your balance, you put your hands on your hips. Again, 1, 2, 3. So, we start. One, two, three, just knee slightly off the ground and back up. Again, one, two, three, pause for one and back up. We're making sure that we're doing eight to ten reps on the right, changing side, setting ourselves up, making sure strong to our core, shoulders back. The other exercise we're doing with that is a push up. With our push up, start in our bare crawl position, knees under hips, arms under shoulders. Strong through the core, then step back fully, step back fully, three, two, one, all the way up, hold at the top for one, three, two, one, one, back up, squeeze into our core. We don't want to see any drop in our lower hips like this, we want to be nice and strong through this midsection, three, two, one, one, and back up. Aiming there to do 10 plus repetitions. Again, think of quality all the time. If you feel like your technique is failing, stop, rest, and then you can repeat again. Okay, lads, our final two exercises in our strength block is a side plank for 45 to 60 seconds, and we're supersetting that with a split, split pal off using the wall as a resistance. So I'm going to demonstrate these two exercises. I'm going to turn to the side here. A couple of key points, we make sure that the elbow is directly underneath our shoulder blade, or our shoulder like so. Fully extend out the legs, so that everything is long, straight, and squeeze through here. So you want to fully extend up, everything is in a straight line, arms reach to the sky, and we're looking straight ahead. We want to see no drop here in the hips, keeping them nice and tight, brace through here, arm up, and keep our gaze straight ahead. After we repeated both sides, right and left, we're then going to a split pal off using the wall. So think of our split squat that we've done previously. Knee under the hip. Here's our wall. Use it as a form of resistance. Imagine someone's going to hit you in the stomach. So we're bracing to our core and we're really fighting against the resistance. So again, we're not just resting our arm. We're fighting against the resistance here. You should really feel the shaking in your midsection of your core. And we're holding that resistance for the time in our plan. Okay lads, our power and strength program day two, our movement prep stays the exact same as day one. It's important that we constantly train those fundamentals repeatedly, so that's why our movement is staying the same. Our power slightly changes, so our first exercise is lateral hop to hold and stick. So again, you can put something down the ground that's small, here, hands and hips, stick the landing, stick the landing, stick the landing. Repeat then, going the opposite way, stick the landing, squeeze into our core, and stick. Our second exercise on that power prep is a broad jump. So with our broad jump, think speech shoulder apart, 
powering ourselves forward, but we also want to keep the quality of the landing really good that we're not collapsing into it. So again here, dip, soft landing. Even softer than that demonstration, we do it one more time. Strong through the core, dip, stick. Okay? And our final exercise is a counter movement jump continuous. So forget about the top jumps where we're bringing the knees up. Imagine we're landing on hot coals, hands on the hips. As soon as we hit the ground, powering up. We want to minimize the amount of time on the ground. So hit the ground, back up, still see the chill, strong through the core, no head down. Think game scenario where we're landing, head is up. Okay, lads, our strength day two. There's three exercises from the previous day one, but there's also three new exercises that I'm going to demonstrate today. First one is our single leg hip thrust elevated. So again, start position. Make sure that our shoulders are, are up slightly on the, on the bench. Here, foot is off the ground. Chin is tucked to start. One, two, three. Squeeze into that glute for one, and back down. Notice my head position. One, two, three. Up, squeeze. Back down, nice and control, all working through the hamstring and the glute. We're going to work both sides and do between six and eight. The other exercise we're supersetting that with is our push up, which we've gone through earlier. Bear paw position, knees under hips, arms under shoulders, leg goes back, leg goes back. One, two, three, one, and back up. And we're doing that for our eight to ten repetitions. Again, think you have tempos that we just talked about during it. Again, we've done single leg squat the box, focus on quality, strong through the knee here, strong through the hip, posture is good, sitting down, sitting down, sitting down, and back up. Obviously, that bench is too low for now, so we're working off the box that we've done previously here a while ago. That's supersetted with our chin up, which we've gone through, full extension, locking out the elbows. If you're struggling with full extension and to complete one full rep, Jump up and then slowly roll down, strong to our core, legs long as well, everything fully lengthened out. The last two exercises in our plan is our Copenhagen side plank. So, into our side plank position here, leg is up, bring this knee up into 90 degrees like a good running position, and then we're fully extending up, hips up, everything in a straight line, nice and strong, working through the groin area here. And we're supersetting that then with our dead bug short lever. So imagine this is a wall. We're lying down on our backs. Again, some of us have some bad habits in terms of arching our back. We want to push our back into the ground so that we're, we're crushing our hand in here like so. And we're really engaging through our core. Our hands are back here imagine against the wall. So we're really, really resisting against the wall. Legs are up like so. And then slowly lowering down, squeezing through here. Back again, making sure we're pushing, pushing, pushing against the wall. Back up. You should feel a real, real shake here in your core, and we're working through the repetitions that are put together in our program. If you feel that you've hit all the quality and tempo and in the reps in all the exercises, so for example with our split squat, we can apply a small bit of weight. So again, get a rucksack, rucksack maybe, get some books or water into it. Again, we put it to the front, we drop down into our split squat position from the ground, quality, all the way up, one, two, three, pause for one, back up, one, two, three, back up. Again, we can apply weight to any exercises once we feel like we're hitting the repetitions using body weight and the quality is good, we can do the same in our press up position. All the same principles stand. We want really, really good quality all the time. Arms under shoulders, knees under hips. One, two, three, pause for one, and back up. And finally, we can do that also with our chin up. Fully extend, extended, squeezing through the core. All the way up, pause. One, two, three, hold for one. All the way up, one, two, and three. Again, we want to focus on quality all the time rather than progressing on and not getting good quality.
Thanks for listening in lads, I hope you found that of a benefit. Uh, make sure that we're constantly looking after the quality of what we're delivering, we want consistency in what we're delivering, and if any of you have any questions whatsoever, make sure that you reach out and contact Kevin O'Callaghan if you're unsure of anything in the programme. Uh, with the progressions that we've spoken about previously in the program, let's start with only 5kg to start with. If we're able and capable to progress on and we feel like the quality is really, really good in what we're delivering, then we can gradually progress things on and making sure we're going step by step.